What do you do? Do you keep to yourself or do you speak out whenever you are invited on a panel, you're a guest, um, when you're talking to other people, what, what do you do? What is your normal routine? I want to, uh, to listen to something. Here it goes. Okay, so I'm not sure if, if you heard it, but um, here is um, La Cuida Marie from Blind Guy, His Wife and Their Life. And she normally is an observer. So I'm um, part of a panel on Send the Man's show. And he asks us to do response videos. So here's then I am. <laughs> And um, you know when she said so, I was like, okay, this is interesting that she's calling me patient. So it's true. I I observe things. I write down a lot. I take a lot of things in. And basically. Because I write down stuff, I, I, my, it, it gives me the possibility to get back to something I want to talk about. And because it's there, I, I can be patient because I know it's still there and I, I can express it when I want to. So I just recorded this video for uh, for my course from silence to speaking out. If you're interested, um, please let me know. I'll probably post a link in this video, uh, chikarcc.com speak out now, something along those lines. And it's a free mini course about uh, why you keep to yourself and the importance of speaking out because if you keep to yourself and you do so long enough then chances are that you increase anger frustrations you know all those negative emotions uh, which likely will have an impact on your on your body as well and not only on your mind and at some point it it needs to be expressed so either you might get a fit of rage you might direct it to yourself as in hurting yourself literally or you might direct it to the other person which is never a good thing and also there's the possibility of numbing yourself when you have the idea that no one is going to listen to you anyway. And that's how addictions come into existence. You know, they start out as fun, something is nice, you get introduced to it. But once you get to realize how it actually works and you come in a situation that you feel like you have no control over, then those things might end up um, working against you. In the in the module, I I I spoke about um, the ways to express yourself, even when you don't say anything. And um, well, quite honestly, I'm I'm kind of hyper. I'm kind of jumpy person. I can be high on adrenaline, you know, in a sec. And that means that I either have to basically remove myself from a certain situation in order to get back to my own energy and, and feeling good again. It might also mean that because I 
was high on energy that I'm very tired and then I really need to retreat to recharge again. So there, there are several things which might happen as a result of it. Um, but it was, yeah, it was surprising to, to hear her say so. And I actually, um, well, she, she has her own show and she's a great host, apparently, uh, together with her husband. Um, I haven't seen their shows yet, but Zen was raving. Uh, so uh, apparently she's good. Um, and, and what I've seen from her being on the panel, I, I have to say, I, I believe that this couple is a great couple. You know, the way they speak, the way they think about things, the way they express themselves, the, they, they, there's so much thought to it. That's, you know, that's, that's really cool. And so I, I did take it to heart what was said. And I loved the fact that each one of us was being mentioned and something was said about it. And I guess that's also the cool thing about being on this panel, because this panel is about listening to one another and, and about respect. So here is the thing. Not too long ago, um, Pastor Tori was on and he was talking about his book. And that the thing is, I used to go to church weekly when I was growing up. Then uh, I also read lots and lots of books about spirituality and about reincarnation. I even uh, became an energetic therapist. Well, the good thing about being a therapist is that you also learn a lot about health in the Western way. And so I'm able to talk to uh, to to GPs. Um, I know if people talk about certain diseases, what they are. And if I do not know what they are and I don't understand the medication, what they are talking about, I know how to look it up and get a better understanding. So that makes it for me... Um, Hang on for a sec, um, because it's almost six in the morning and I'm getting tired. Um, so I, I just lost my train of thought, thoughts. Oh yeah, I know it again. I was talking about being a energetic, an energetic therapist. Well, I'm also a coach for those who don't know. And I basically nowadays use what I've been taught to observe certain signals. And I don't even do it consciously. I, I just pick up on a lot of tiny little things. And I guess I use it to, to read certain people. And not in a woo way, but you know. Um, but in a manner that reminds me to be open to them to ask questions to make sure that I'm on the right path or not having said so um, at some point as in nine years ago I got deconverted which means I don't agree with what uh, with a number of things which are listed in the bible I cannot understand if there would be a God, why he would map out a plan to which we have to give purpose. Um, not even giving someone the opportunity to live a fulfilling life. It happens, let's be honest. Uh, And having said so, um, 
yeah, there's a lot going on in my mind, which I'm not expressing at the moment. And um, one of those things has to do with, with uh, speaking up. And I'm one of those people, when I see injustice done, I will say it when I see someone is not hurt. I will invite the other person to, you know, say what's on your mind. And I know there's a lot, there are a lot of people out there, especially women, who do not get the chance to be who they are, to express themselves, to have fun. And that's why I kept her quiet for a second. Well, um, this video is not about being uh, the one who wants to be depressing or whatever it is. Um, not at all. Um, but it, it, it is about the, the balance between, okay, what do I say and what do I not say? Because I don't want to offend people. So I want to express my opinion um, and when I know that it brings value, then I will do so. And sometimes I'm a little bit, um, well, how will I say it? I can be pretty much in your face, <laughs> not on purpose, but because, um, I'm, I'm not very good at, um, finding that right moment. I mean, if you were to invite me, it makes things a lot easier, but we are adults and as adults, we are supposed to be able to say what we want to say when uh, we believe that it's important to say it and to know the timing. Oh, uh, unfortunately, I'm not that good at knowing the timing. So I have to wait until someone actually stops with speaking. And the thing about being on the panel is that we all sort of wait for that moment. And then you know, when someone starts speaking, then actually um the opportunity passes by so it's always a little bit of juggling okay what am i going to say and what am i not going to say and how and when but getting back to um basically different perceptions different beliefs and then respect what i i have come to to understand is that it's okay if I want to express how I feel and to give my opinion it's my train of thoughts and by making it in uh, into something positive I do believe that it's it actually adds value. So like for instance, when Pastor Tori was on, I can so appreciate him being there for the community and for people to talk to and to, to help them out. And you know, really being there. And you know, when it comes to belief, I today said, you know, it's important to believe in yourself, in you, because you eventually are the one who's going to do it, who needs to do it. No one else is going to do it for you, how much you believe or not. And when you believe in yourself and you can find that strength, you are going to be so proud of yourself for have, having spoken out. So I guess that basically wraps up what I wanted to say. I just recorded over and half an hour video uh, for my module and I want to keep this one under 15 minutes. Uh, I have to say I loved being on the show with Send the Men. I loved um, talking uh, to the new people over there um, today and so shout out to John and to Blind Guy, his wife and their life and of course to Bonnie and Mary who are always there and uh, I'll talk to you again soon.